Hey Toy Collectors, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today we're taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wacky Action Toilet Taxi. Every May I try to take a look at at least one toy that I have footage of me opening as a kid. The Damn. toilet taxi. Oh, it's got a toilet taxi. Where's that from, Kev? It's, 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 it's probably a toilet with a toilet taxi. It's got a toilet. And this year, we're checking out the toilet taxi. One of the odder and maybe more disgusting toys from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line. Gross Out was definitely a common trend in the 90s and was definitely part of Ninja Turtles with the slime and the ooze and things like that, but actually having a toilet seat? I think the Ghostbusters toilet monster might be the only other toy toilet reference I can think of from a boy's toy line. Kevin, like, I got a toilet seat for Kevin, you got my You're sick. We're going to start by checking out the box. This one's a little crunchy, uh, but it's still fun to check it out. It's got that classic TMNT artwork that was very comic book inspired with the toilet taxi in action being driven by Leonardo. It's got a ton of call-outs on here. We've got the Wacky Action TMNT branding, which was a subline within Ninja Turtles. Most of the characters had wind-up features. You've got the toilet taxi, the fastest flusher to fight the foot. We've got pull-back wind-up action. And then down here is a photo of the actual toy. It tells us we have a detachable bowl blaster, pulsating plunger headlights, and toilet paper mud flaps. The back of the package has more photography of the toy, including some call-outs to how the action feature works and some of the other features on it. We have two pizza points as well as the cross cell here. I remember a lot of kids having the Uzi pretend pizzeria, and I personally had the seltzer cannon as a kid, which could blast water. I had a lot of fun with the toilet taxi as a kid. It was one of the better one-person vehicles. I had the party wagon, I had this toilet taxi, I had the sewer cycle, or whatever it was called. I didn't have a whole lot of those little ones like the cheap skate and things like that. So this was kind of a fun little vehicle. I got it for my birthday from a friend, uh, so it wasn't something that I picked out, but I did like it. One of the things that I did like the most, though, was its wacky action gimmick. If I recall correctly, as a kid, I was far more likely to push this forward to make the plungers work than I was to actually wind it backwards and let it take off. It's fun to watch a toy go zipping across the floor and crash into other toys, but I was in second grade. I was a more refined toy player, and I planned out delicate storylines and would have plungers get stuck to people's butts. Uh, Donnie, I need a little help. All right, let's take a look at some of the deco here. We have a sticker with the turtle mouth and nose here. This was a common deco for Ninja Turtle vehicles. On the side here, we have manhole cover sewer grate lids. There must be a lot of open manholes in New York City because the turtles are using these covers for vehicle hubcaps all the time. In the front here, we have a sink for the dashboard. It's got the spout going backwards, but it does have the handles, the knobs for turning on the water, and even like the plumbing and the drain, which is a really nice attention to detail. We have a steering wheel that can move. It's got the handbrake on the side there. I always kind of liked this as a kid. I thought it was a lot of fun. There's also a blaster on the side here. It has a little bulb and a goofy looking barrel, and it has a hose that connects that to the vehicle. And when you put the turtle on here, his hands are set up pretty well to look like he's operating the lever and the blaster. Of course, the seat is a toilet, sanitized for your protection sticker on there. They have the toilet paper mud flaps that have foot toilet paper uh, there, which I always thought was a cool detail as a kid, for sure. We have some technical details on the back, and it leads us up to a shower pipe here that has articulated knobs for turning on the water, the turtle shower sprinkler here, which as a kid I often pretended the turtles would use this to wash off mutagen. If for some reason the you know evil shredder would hit them with ooze, they had to get it off quick, and they would turn on the shower here on the toilet taxi. There's even a bar of soap. Unfortunately, that's not painted, so it's molded in the same metal as everything else. And we've got a flush the foot flag. The Ninja Turtles really did smack talk the bad guys a lot 
on their sticker and artwork on their vehicles. You got some different pegs here on the side, which do give you pretty good spots for the turtle's feet because they do have a wide stance. And overall, I think it's a pretty fun vehicle. I definitely had Leo driving this almost all the time. I guess I was influenced by the artwork and photography on the package. And note that they used the original Leonardo figure on the package, not the wacky action Leonardo, even though this vehicle was part of the wacky action line. Hey kids, follow these simple blueprints. It's easy. I always thought as a kid it was weird how poorly drawn this Ninja Turtle was considering how great the artwork was on all the Ninja Turtle packaging. So there's a few little directions here on how to snap in all the parts, which is pretty cool. Good guy. Pendant pipe. Toilet tank. Oh, there's a seat belt. I'm missing the seat belt. I thought I had bought a complete one. I'm glad I reviewed this so that way I can make note of that in my review. I'm missing the seatbelt. I think I got rid of the seatbelt on my childhood one right away also. It does make sense to have the seatbelt for this vehicle since it has the pullback feature so the guy doesn't fall out while it's driving out of control. But I always hated seatbelts on toys. They just they got in the way. They made it hard to put the figures in. Uh, so, okay. I guess I still need to find a seatbelt. They don't show a seatbelt on the back of the package. Is that a mistake on the blueprint? Or was there actually a seatbelt? For all the wacky vehicles the Ninja Turtles had cobbled together with turtle shell patterns, turtle teeth, mean faces on the front, and lots of discarded junk for accessories, Donatello was really busy building all of this stuff. From the blimp, to the van, to the toilet taxi, to the cheapskate, and all the other ridiculous vehicles in the line. I don't think the toilet taxi is one that everybody needs to own. It's not a, a diehard vehicle. Like, you gotta have a party wagon in your collection. But it is a fun toy with the goofy feature, and it, it kind of is the epitome of that toilet humor, gross-out style toys of the 90s. And that's why I love having this in my collection. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Birthday. Yeah, okay, thanks. No, I was recording uh, Brett over there dear dancing. Dear Kevin, wait. Yeah, dear Kevin, hope <laughs> your day is filled with happy surprises. I can read. I can uh -oh. read. It's an unchucked. Now I can be the coolest kid. Now look what I got on the street. Brian, on the street. Awesome. It comes with a tiny star with a picture on it. It's an unchucked belt, band, hat, and a and a and a little card there. Who's that from, Kev? Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous tour review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Oh, and what do you say to Ryan? Oh. I miss America! Yes. 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 Everyone miss America! You can be one! Stuff. Yeah, Brooks really wound up, isn't he? Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess. Yeah. 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 Yeah.